Final five kilometers in this third stage, the fourth day of the CMAC Ladies Tour. We started at Emma Lourdes 145 kilometers ago, and we're making our way to Lelystad, one of the newest cities of the Netherlands, founded in 1967. And that is where we will have another royal sprint battle with uh, Charlotte Cole in the green jersey with uh, Lorena Vibes, the European champion, and Elisa Balsamo, the winner of the first sprint that we had in the town of Genep. And then we have some other teams. We, we still, of course, have uh, um, UA Team ADQ, who uh, might go for a sprint, although they lost both of their fast riders in Consoni and Gasparini. Also moving to the front are Lotto Destiny, quite possibly with uh, Antila, Antila, uh, but yeah, that train, look at that train of ST Works. After all the work that they've done so far, still grouped together with Demi Vollering at the front. Karina Schrempf getting to the front there, the uh, Austrian champion, as they are making their way up front with Christina Schweinberger. And uh, you can really their sprinter. feel the nerves, can't you? Yeah. You can feel the nerves rising. You can hear the shouts of the girls in the peloton trying to navigate themselves through these lead outs, almost like a team time trial on the front with all the other teams trying to do the same, trying to find the same piece of road, staying near the front. And I said it at the beginning, when it's not very technical, when you've got these big wide roads in the last few thousand meters of racing, it makes for actually more hectic racing, even though it's not technical, because ultimately there's more teams that can be featured at the front. Whereas if it's narrow, you know, it's only one team that will be taking control. Oh. I don't think taking the left side was the most um, ideal option. But, so slightly uh, out again, our ticker. So they've just gone through three kilometers to go here. So about 200 meters out on the, uh, the distance that we're being shown. This is a, a tailwind at the moment, but it's only ever so slight, six, seven kilometers an hour. But look at the formation there of SD Works with uh, Lotte Kopecki in that yellow jersey uh, ahead of uh, Lorena Bibis. We also have SD Works trying to uh, get a sprint train there with uh, Ali Wollaston, the uh, New Zealand champion. But look at the uh, information shouted there by Lorena Bibis. Daniel Campbell there getting to the front. We also have uh, Anina Atasaulo, the Finnish national champion. And then we go back to the tail end of the peloton with our breakaway rider, Scarlett, uh, Scarlett Sure and Annika Dijkstra. Of course, they have done a whole lot of work today. But the action is at the front here with Loretta Hansen doing a really impressive pull at 2K to go. The uh, little track team are here with Balsamo, Fernandroy, Brandt, Chapman, Hansen, Lisa Klein, and Ilaria Sanguinetti, who would be the uh, who will be the last rider in front of Balsamo. Who knows if they can uh, do it again? Barbara Gorishki doing everything she could there to try and get on terms with the effort that Loretta Hansen was uh, was making. They don't want to make the same mistakes that they did before on stage one. Do Team SD Works, who said that they got it all wrong in that lead out. They don't want hmm. to be caught out. Like you said, they've done so much work in this chase to try and get the breakaway back that had over seven minutes at one point with only around 45 kilometers to go. So that was a great effort, but now they need to uh, stay together. You can see them all getting out the saddle, sprinting here for these last oh, few corners. I hope that this is going well. Well, you have, of course, these two corners in the final kilometer, and it looks like the elite motorbike camera is having a little bit of trouble. There is the Flam Rouge, and the lead out is there for DSM with five for Georgie in that national British champions jersey as the final lead out for Charlotte Cole. That is the final situation. Elisa Owen is the rider now for DSM. And now it's up to five for Georgie. That is really early. We also have in the yellow jersey, Kopecki doing the lead out for Lorena Vibas, who tries to get onto that wheel there of Charlotte Cole. Final turn. Well, one more to go. Oh, there's a little hiccup there as we go into the final straight. One of the riders of Jaco Alula. It looks like a really solid lead out there for Jaco Alula. Is that Alex Manley there in second place? It looks like Alex Manley in second place. Third 
that is Lorena Bibes. And then we have in the green jersey, Charlotte Cole. We also have Elisa Balsamo still there. Uh, Anna Henderson is there for Jumbo uh, Visma. And now that final lead out for, uh, for Alex Handy. Uh, Alexander Manley and through the middle Lorena Vives the European champion look at the speed that she's developing but Charlotte Cole is also coming it's going to be another sprint win for Charlotte Cole and look at how dominant that one is wow 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 that was really impressive sprinting there from Charlotte Cole